what about him? <laughs> yeah. So I'm off again. Hopefully we'll have the video of the last trip posted very soon. So. I'm what about me? What about me? What about you? There you are. You lost, you lost another tooth. That's what about you. This, oh, yeah. Uh, no, I'm not going to do, uh, do it about that. This, <laughs> this blood in the air and this porn in where? Well, I don't think it was that dramatic <laughs> tooth loss. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gone for another five days, and I will be posting soon. So stay tuned to Good Vlog. Thank you. Halfway to Boulder from Denver Airport, International Airport. I'll be meeting David tonight, Michael Sala tomorrow night, and uh, I guess tomorrow we will begin shooting Cosmic Disclosure. Dr. Sala is going to be on. We're going to have episodes with John Lear, it appears, and also several more with William Tompkins, which I'm looking very forward to. I'm going to appear with William Tompkins at the MUFON Symposium in uh, Las Vegas around the 20th of July. So you may want to check that out. This should be an awesome presentation. We're doing special presentations for uh, each event. So you should try to make it to all of them. Anyway, I just wanted to give y'all a look at my drive from the airport into Boulder. Not too shabby of a drive. Almost a boulder. Nanu, nanu. Left my sunglasses. Yeah. Sunglasses? Yeah. You're not driving. I don't have to drive to need sunglasses. You've had eye surgeries like I. You're very photosensitive. That's true. You're like 120 years old or something. Well, having yeah. cataract surgery yeah. in both yeah. eyes and yeah. three <laughs> retina. Attachment surgeries in the left eye. That's right. You got this new road method of getting there down pat now. Cool. So Sala's article's doing really well already. Good. You need that intel out. Yeah. Did you uh, post it on your uh, Facebook or something? Yeah, Facebook and Twitter. Nice. Within an hour, it had 15,000 views. Sala's like our fifth needle. <laughs> Like the what? You like the fifth beetle. The fifth beetle, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the most popular vlogs is when David and I are driving around talking like idiots. Well, I thought I was intelligent. You did. <laughs> no, but he's gonna get me like this. So. Oh, leave I, this part. I thought you said that he already had. Already had that. That's the new style. <laughs> it's the blue avian do. <laughs> Did you get it? Reminds me of the flock of seagulls. I ran so far away. <laughs> flock of seagulls. <laughs> yep. Great. Cosmic Disclosure, update one. So this is what it's like to sit in the chair. This is what I see as we shoot Cosmic. It's supposed to be being filmed, not filming. Hey, I, this is a 
POV. I think your priorities are all screwed up now. POV. What the heck is going on with Senator John Kerry going to Antarctica on election day? And we have photos of him down there looking at icebergs. We're seeing those right now. There he is, apparently to study climate change on the day of the election between the two candidates. What the heck is going on there? Why was he down there? I don't know. Why, um, several years back, were the uh, two princes from England down there to raise awareness for wounded warriors? Why want to go to Antarctica? A lot of big names are going down there. You know, we have the Pope has gone down. We've had the leader of the uh, Greek Orthodox Church. We are pulling away from Gaia headquarters, and we are live. Live, at least in something that is not being broadcast, but otherwise, cameras rolling. We climbed from under the microscopes and lights. So you get to assess the skills of the Wilcock in driving performance. Find out exactly how much endurance the Wilcock has in certain performance categories. Let's just let it lie right there. Yeah. Let that one hang, as it were. You still want that last question, I yeah. <laughs> particular UFO type cloud over there on that mountain. Yes, they're, the same. they're here. They're burning. <laughs> we had a long day. Yeah, it was. How many episodes? <coughs> oh, well, four. Let's think this through. I think four. We did the Tompkins episode. We ended up doing how many on Lear? Two. Was it only two? I guess it was. And then the Q&A. We did the Q&A. So it was four. I'm sure it seemed longer than that. Yeah, I was ready to get to those questions. But go. Yeah. I was just, I was... Four is a lot. Yeah, four sitting that long, those chairs are so uncomfortable. Well, that was the most comfortable chair we could get. Yeah. We kind of dissolve into the chair and get like seven inches of sock exposure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've, there's been plenty of comments in the comments section about our socks. Maybe someday they'll spring for new chairs for us. We're lucky. We're curvy couch or something. <laughs> you had several pickups that cover the time since we last did a video update with Guy episodes. There were meetings with Gonzalez, there were MIC meetings. With and without uh, Sigmund. Yep. Antarctica stuff. No questions, briefings. Right. And somehow we got to try to have you structure that enough that it can be at least that your thoughts are clear enough that we can talk about it tomorrow. Because yeah. tomorrow was it. Yeah. So don't get drunk at dinner tonight. It's kind of hard to get drunk on coffee and glue. <laughs> I think that added to my inability to sleep last night. I had like three coffees at dinner. Oh, yeah, that, that would cool. do it. That would do it, my friend. After about five o'clock, if I have any coffee, that's it. I'm going to be up. You're going to be up? I don't take much caffeine at all. My life is stimulating enough. Yeah, you're definitely on the microscopic slide, smeared out and under high amplification at this point. Yeah, I'm under the microscope of everybody. <laughs> we have people doing reverse speech, body language analysis. <laughs> well, you're, you're impacting the collective consciousness in a way that I haven't seen anyone, anyone else do. That's, according to the Blue Avians, that is the mission. Yeah. Well, there is no other. Because, um, you know, I mean, other people that have you know, 
been away for a while, but the inflammation comes and goes. Just getting out there, it's ready. It's really surprising to see the scope of advertising the guy has been able to pull off because the internet advertising wow, yeah. is actually pretty inexpensive. So you can do an enormous amount of coverage for less than you'd think. And I see far more advertising for our own show everywhere I go than any other movie or television show or entertainment product I can think of. Yeah, I've gotten so many emails. People are sick of going to YouTube and then hearing that music and hearing me talking about Nazis from space. They've heard that the Germans, Germans so, yeah, the secret Germans, space secret. program. They've heard it, you know, hundreds, hundreds of times. Yeah. Yeah, you go crazy. You need a, need a new commercial. Let's spend some of that money on making a new commercial. <laughs> yeah, I could almost quote those, those five seconds before I skip for beta. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are driving at 5 o'clock, and we are experiencing Boulder 5 o'clock traffic. Nothing compared to Dallas and L.A. Though. I know, and people get all whiny about it. It's like, really? You don't know what traffic is. Mm -hmm. How about how about try to get to the 101 from the 405 in, in L.A., where it's basically a parking lot. Except for the motorcycles flying between the cars. Yeah. In Dallas, if someone tried that, you'd have idiots opening their pickup doors, you know, to take them out. Wow, really? Like, yeah. There's, uh, yeah, bike riders have it rough in, in the Dallas area. People don't watch for them, and it's, it's bad. So, this is so much easier than that. I mean, it's basically flowing. You might wait for one red light cycle at each red light. That's yeah, about even, it. Even two is no big deal. Yeah, stop Another thing different here is, I guess, pedestrians have the right of way no matter where you are. You have, you'll be driving down the road and someone will walk out in front of you and you have to slam on the brakes and he look at you like you're the idiot. Oh, I know. It is disturbing. And people will just walk up and hit that cross button. And keep going. And they don't even wait to see if you're going to slow down. They just immediately hit the button. And all of a sudden it's all these flashing yellow lights and it's like, holy crap. And then they're out there on the road. They don't even wait to make sure that you're going to slow down. And I think there might be a correlation with the fact that marijuana... Yeah, I was just about to say the same thing. I was like, <laughs> I wonder if the dispensaries have anything to do with it. You know, why did the idiot cross the road? The dispensary was on the other side. <laughs> you try to make it out like I'm farting when it's not even <laughs> real and you're going... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That was very loving of you. It was. You probably it was, authorized it was all fun. kinds of good karma for yourself. It was on that fun. One. Actually, uh, it came to me that way, and I laughed, and I was like, "All right." We'll oh, your friend in. put the yeah. fart in. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I got this lane open here. So <laughs> I was really surprised because I certainly do not let a rip like that in public. And I didn't remember releasing that kind of gas and then after a while I realized it was a hand fart because there was there, I think there's like two of them well it's actually uh, overlap he got it from uh, three <laughs> sounds or oh three sounds on the internet yeah. he wasn't capable of generating his own maybe not there's certain recipes you can follow that will like sauerkraut and beans and so forth help speed that up for you Sauerkraut does get things moving. <laughs> I think this meeting's going to happen much quicker than uh, six weeks because Kari's preparing me for um, such a meeting and letting me know that there will be uh, nothing to worry about for me because she's going to be communicating through me. Hmm. Interesting. And uh, they had a few con security concerns. It looks like the... Anshar watching over us more than anyone else. 
Yeah, I was, I, you know, I spent so many years not really thinking about the channeling stuff that happened to me. And uh, now that I've gone back and thought about it, and I'm like, I realized that I was having visions of these Nordic looking people um, actually like, you know, like I would see them as I was getting these readings and they would be standing there. They didn't always have robes on, but sometimes they did. So now I think that it wasn't just Ra that I was talking to, because I, I definitely remember there was a female who introduced herself at one point. Was, you know, according to your air, you've been talking to a conglomerate, and those that you're communicating with depend on your particular vibration at the time. Well, I had another meeting where I met Trump last night in my dream. I had another one a couple days ago where I met him. I had several other dreams where they're getting me ready for what sounds exactly like what they're telling me about. So, yeah, that's very. I don't know exactly how this fits together. And then there was that funny thing where they basically told me that there was stuff that they told you that they told you not to tell me, but exactly. that if I, but that if I like goaded you with questions that I could then watch how you did or did not respond in your body language and that that would give everything away. <laughs> so I think shit's about to get really interesting for both of us. Oh my gosh. Friday, 2.15 p.m. 27th. <sighs> I think we shot 12 episodes of Cosmic Disclosure. We shot some with Dr. Sala, John Lear, more with Tompkins. And then we did a couple of updates. So, busy week. I just got done doing a photo shoot for the graphic novel and movie we're making. So, I hope I got some good images, good pictures. I am exhausted. Time to head back. <sighs> To the hotel and then collapse. And away we go. <sighs> All work and no play makes Corey a dull boy. Too much work. Need to have some fun. Okay. That can be arranged. <laughs> What are the chances of a human space flight and exploration forum being at the same hotel as me? Synchronicity, if you ask me. Wow, it's all gone. All the human space flight forum stuff. I guess I won't be meeting them tonight after all.
bag of pee. And the sad thing is, it's not the first time my driver's seen it, is it? You've, you've seen it before. What is going on with that? A lot of times. Okay. Uh -huh. The button, the water button, they put it like that. Yeah. They put it this one. I don't know why people lazy. You got this room right there. Uh, <laughs> Very good. There's got to be some other reason. Yeah, why? Yeah. Somebody smuggling pee. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to see me? Yeah. 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 I wish you got me some. Come on. Oh. Did you grow again? I was thinking you were a twin. Chris. Hi. Hi. I know, I heard. Nope. I was saying you were a twin. I'm sorry. You were saying a twin for me. I'm sorry. So happy to see you. You gave me a hug? Yeah. What happened to your lip? Chapped minus two, huh? Hey. Oh. It's been kind of a sick house. Missed you so much. All right, Molly, come here. Come here. You already French kissed me. What do you need next? <laughs> I think I was missed. Yes, you were. Hey, what about this? Oh yeah. Geozilla just told me that you're home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Thanks. do you want to put it on the table? Oh, oh. I'll get it later. And last time, I I couldn't do it. I I just rolled it on the table and it landed on Mom's computer. It did. What? Yeah. <laughs> you sure you don't want to use my chapstick, buddy? No. It'll make your lip feel better. Oh, it's looking better. Oh, was it worse? The kind Daddy has is better than the one I put on you, okay? Yeah, mine will make it real good. Yeah. Real good. And it doesn't hurt cold. No. Plus it's heated oh, up. No, it's, yeah. it hurts when it's so capped. Yeah, it does. But you put that medicine on your lip and it'll be better. Yeah, it'll help it. Well, I guess we're going to have to get rid of this leather couch now. No. Yeah. Hey, you got vegetarians in the house. And vegans. Vegetarian that hot like this. You yeah, also have somebody that has. Potty, you I'm also vegan. have somebody <laughs> that has a bum back, and this couch is very comfortable. We'll get yeah. her another comfortable couch. Mm, this couch was very expensive. I planned on keeping it for quite a while when we invested <laughs> in it. I like. Feels like we're like, I, sitting there I, on a carcass. I, I like saying on it because it's cool. Nice. Throw a blanket over it, man. Let's see. Today is February the 1st at 8.36 a.m. I just dropped my kids off at school. First time I'm able to get out of the house on my own since my little medical incident. So I, I did have a uh, little bit of a medical incident. I was feeling a little bit funny the day before I flew back from Boulder. I was starting to have um, some weird, um, I guess, symptoms like you get when your allergies act up, except I started coughing up this very strange black phlegm that was nasty. And it was very thick, very consistent, and it occurred a number of times and finally cleared up yesterday. I don't know if that had anything to do with the other symptoms I experienced, but I was already exhausted, dehydrated for sure, and then we made a fairly rapid descent when we flew from Boulder, where I, I stayed at that altitude for about five or six days after being in Mexico for about the same amount of time. So uh, I felt the my ears popping, it felt a little differently on the, after the landing, I knew something was a little different. That's why I'm pretty sure what I had was the reverse altitude sickness that I 
found on the internet. So when I got home, I was feeling more and more dizzy, starting to get a headache. My ears felt like they needed to pop. And then all of a sudden I started getting these weird pains in my joints. Then I started getting weird pains in my left side of my joints, in my arm, my elbow, my wrist, and my shoulder, which concerned me because there, soon after I developed chest pains that were like crushing chest pains. It was at that point, and I was obviously not getting enough oxygen, I was a little dizzy, that I had my wife take me to the emergency room. We were in the emergency room for a while. They did an EKG, and once they knew that you know I wasn't, you know, having a heart attack or anything like that they just put me back in the waiting room so I sat out there with extremely ill people we finally decided to leave when the man came in and started projectile vomiting everywhere in the emergency room and then as Stacy was taking the kids out because my mom was already there had just arrived to pick her up about the kids um, the lady that accompanied the guy started projectile vomiting and I told him that's it I'm out of here I signed a thing and left AMA against medical advice. So since then, I've just been flat on my back, sleeping, resting, trying to recover. I feel as though literally life force was pulled out of me. And like, I'm just drained of all energy. So yeah, that was a little bit scary. Uh, you know, it might be a lot to do about nothing to, to a lot of people but you know I had just upped my life insurance significantly after hearing you know possibilities of how this um, mission could end so you know this is life none of us are going to get out of it alive right so anyway there was a little bit of drama that also occurred around that that I really can't go into people that I met that you know, I gave some briefings to during that time period. There are a few other things I can't go into yet that David Wilcock knew about, which caused a lot of the concern that you saw in his postings on Facebook. Okay, so anyway, that's the explanation of what occurred with me medically. I did have a nice um, communication from Kyrie telling me to be calm. This was not. Uh, this was a part of an attack that my, uh, in my weakened state I became susceptible to, but uh, that everything was going to be okay. I felt the presence of my grandfather and my aunt who recently passed away, and uh, I don't know, a few other weird things occurred. One of which um, some people pointed out in the footage of me in the hospital that I sent David, behind the door they see a shadow that moves or goes away. I'll let you take a look and see what you think. Why are you going down? So you don't have to stay here. Okay. Come on, Marissa, get in the car. But drawing a pig on my... A bear! Okay, a bear. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Alright. Yeah, sure. Does that look like a pig? That's we a bear. We got to move it, move it. We got to move it. What the heck? Why is it like a... Yeah. Surprise! What the heck? Morning it... with it's... the goods on the way to school. Oh, I'm sorry, we need, a, we need to like erase your pig. It's not a pig! <laughs> and why is it upside down? Push the window. Like, no, 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 no. Push the window. No! Wait, will you listen to me? There you go. Push it that way. I can't tell what you mean. Yeah, push it that way. Oh, that, that way. way it'll... There we go. Okay, move your fingers. It... Okay. Why is it upside down? What? The it's GoPro. Not... It records. Right side up. It's smart. Why is it recording? That's what cameras do. I know! <laughs> I just thought uh, I would do a little recording of that That's creepy, process. I didn't even notice. That's creepy. <laughs> that is creepy that you didn't notice. Oh, please don't add it. Wait till sound, it makes me cool. Oh, I'm 
so sorry, buddy. Can you turn that off? No, I need... It's cold. Well, then turn it on warm. I need uh, defrost. You guys are panting too hard, anticipating school, I believe. <laughs> Feeling good enough to take you all to school. That's good, right? Uh, yeah, Kim trails in the morning. Stay down, Mom. <laughs> she said, like, I run in the church, like. Sunglasses, buddy, they work really good. I can't. I want to get some sunlight in my retina. Wait a minute. I have my own sunglasses. They were in my backpack. Oh. It's not early the minute I try to get out of here. It's going to take me 10 minutes Wait, so for some why to get are to you green? Connors. Why are you purple? I'm not purple. I'm not green. Not even a little bit. He had to take his glasses off. Purple. And then he looked at me again. This isn't purple. This is brown. Are you reverse color mind? You find me appealing? <laughs> Stop with the puns, it's too much. Too punny. I'm spitting like crazy this morning, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Let's have however old water this is. Probably like five years old. Mm -hmm. Mama likes to put little sprinkles of stuff in her water, doesn't she? So, to make it... Okay. To make it uh, purified or whatever. Like she does like a pinch of salt. Yeah, just adding back to the water that we strip out. Alright baby, hop, drop, and roll. Okay. Love you. Have a good day. Hop, drop, and roll. Hop, drop, and roll. Uh-oh. Hold on to your teeth. The bumps. The bumps. Oh, no. Oh. I didn't hold on to my teeth and I didn't fall out. Oh, I think I... My they teeth, stay in. My teeth fell out, Connor. I'm going to need that special glue again. When we get home, you help me find all my teeth, okay? No. No? That's not very nice or respectful. I'd help you find your teeth. Then you would tell oh, look out. Oh, oh, oh. to oh, oh. help find your teeth. Oh, I just lost more teeth, Connor. I think I swallowed a couple. What's going to happen? Think I'm going to bite my belly button? No. <laughs> I might. You would bite the whole school with his belly button. <laughs> oh, no. That sounds like it's not going to be fun. Yeah, that would wreck the 
brick. No, no, more bombs. Over oh. there in an entire school. Entire school. I'm gonna ride you then. All right, here we because go. Because the house is made out of bricks. It is. All right, buddy. Does this used to be Jesus' house? Uh, yeah, the church. It is Jesus' house. That's right.